Hello all, this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on the optimizer. Um, so uh, the optimizers have a firmware update every once in a while to um, provide new features and um, one of them for example is the ability to enable or disable the signal monitor. Uh, many folks with older phones for example um, don't have the ability to monitor the signal on the phones and so um, it's important to be able to disable that feature. Um, and so you, you're going to browse to globalmarinenet.com slash WXA slash WXA100 as listed here in the URL. And you'll see a bunch of files here. If you uh, sort by last modified, um, you'll see the latest for difference. And these are for different optimizers. But the one that you're really concerned about is the one that's called latest.bin. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that URL, that, save that link as um, <clears throat> on our desktop as uh, basically uh, latest dot bin and we'll just go ahead and save that uh, and download that. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to Wi-Fi connect to the optimizer. So I'm on a Mac on a PC it's very similar. Uh, you go ahead and just Wi-Fi connect to the unit as you have been doing. Uh, on the optimizers you will see that the SSID is WXA-102-2ED8. If you have a very very old unit you'll need to enter a password uh, in order to connect to that device. Uh, and the password is the MAC address, which is found on the bottom of the router. For the newer routers, um, you, uh, the, the, the Wi-Fi is not usually password protected, and so it's just a matter of connecting to it. Once you've connected to the optimizer, um, you uh, browse to uh, URL 192.168.20.1, um, and you should get a login screen. The version number of the optimizer is listed on the top left hand corner. 105 was one of our uh, base production uh, systems and we had thousands of units go out with that version. Uh, this version does not have the signal monitoring and so if you need to be able to disable the signal strength monitoring or if you want the signal strength monitoring on your phone uh, then you'll need to update the firmware. Um, for the older version of the software um, uh, there, there is a username called root. On the newer version of the software you'll notice that the username is blank and if you see a blank here, then the login is going to be admin. The default web password is webxaccess. Um, and again, if this field is blank, then you would enter admin to log in. And so we'll go ahead and log in. And uh, here is our optimizer. Again, we're running version 1.05 of the software, which was released, um, I don't know, about a year or so ago. So once we're logged into the optimizer, we go to the system menu, and then we go to flash firmware, <clears throat> and we browse for the file that we just downloaded. In my case, it's called um, latest.bin. And very important, you want to uncheck this keep settings. Um, if you don't do that, then <clears throat> your router may not work properly after you do the upgrade. We're going to select flash image. That's uploading the image now to the uh, optimizer. And in a second here, when that completes, we can proceed forward with the firmware update. So, um, okay, now we're going to go ahead and hit proceed with the update. So at this point, the router is being programmed. Um, if you look at the router lights while this is happening, the light under the gray button stays solid until the firmware update has completed, and then it'll start flashing as the unit reboots itself. And so um, it'll reboot itself, and once it becomes solid, um, you're done. You can reconnect to the device and and then uh, verify that indeed you are, you're running the latest version. So. A few things you will notice is that um, your computer probably has disconnected from the Wi-Fi and connected to another Wi-Fi that has accessible. And so um, we'll want to um, Wi-Fi connect to the unit. Now, if you're, if you're connecting from a very old unit, um, you, you may have problems Wi-Fi connecting to it. And one of the reasons for that is because the security has been disabled. And so your computer might be confused about security settings for that particular Wi-Fi connection. If you have problems connecting to it, then the best thing to do is to tell your computer to forget the network settings or the Wi-Fi settings for that a device. I'm on a Mac. And the way you would do that on a Mac is you would go to Network Preferences. 
um, you would then go to advanced and under Wi-Fi you'll notice the different networks that are listed there and you would select the network and then you would just basically tell it to remove it from the list and for example I can do that with this router here um, and at that point uh, my computer has now forgotten about that Wi-Fi connection so when I apply when I connect to it it's like connecting to the Wi-Fi for the very first time uh, and now that we're running the latest version of the firmware uh, no software is required so I've reconnected now I can go back over here to um, my my web browser notice that I never got an update here saying that the device was completed and of course the reason for that was because we disconnected from the Wi-Fi and so there's no way for the software to be able to come back and say hey we're done so uh, we know we're done because we've got a solid light so if I come here and I go back to my 192.168.20 URL um, you'll notice that now the version number listed here in the top left hand corner is 1.16 which is the latest version again uh, now I have a blank username here the username has now been changed to admin which is the new username that we use for uh, the optimizer as of about a year ago and the password remains the same as WebX access all lowercase one word and um, again that is listed in the quick start guide I can then go ahead and hit login and uh, you'll notice that again we're running version 1.16 of the software uh, if I go to system now you'll see a couple items here um, one of them is going to be under administration uh, you'll see that we have signal monitoring and we can disable it here so if you have a phone that doesn't support signal monitoring you can uncheck that and that will allow you to proceed forward without actually checking the signal on the phone if you have a phone that's reporting low signal and you want to just try anyway you can go ahead and change the signal strength threshold the default is 60 percent on some ISAT phone use some ISAT phones uh, only report 50 percent or 40 percent and so Xgate will never work on those phones unless you change the threshold or disable the signal strength monitor so um, you uh, you can do that um, all right so that takes care of this of the firmware upgrade um, I uh, I hope you found this video useful and um, we'll catch you next time. This is Lewis at Global Marine Networks wishing you a nice day.